talk about uh, what is an ideal quant CV and uh, how you should prepare your CV for applying for quant roles. This video is going to be useful to both uh, experienced candidate as well as uh, freshers. And uh, there are some you know good rules to follow to prepare any CV. It doesn't matter whether it's a CV related to quant profile or, or other profiles. But there are some specific things related to CV for controls that you need to, to be careful about. Okay, I'll talk about based on my experience uh, for the last uh, decade or so. So one important thing to remember is that unlike many other industry roles, uh, quantitative finance is very academic in nature. So your academic profile should be really good and you should be um, highlighting that in your CV. Um, so for instance, if you have a um, master's degree, right, make sure that you write about it. If you have done a master's thesis and you have published your work, uh, make sure to write about it uh, on your CV. So it's important to highlight all your academic achievements uh, on your CV. Uh, in many jobs, it probably matters less. For example, if you are applying for a marketing or sales or even a software engineering sort of a job, your uh, master thesis may not uh, be of much use unless it is uh, relevant for software development. Whereas in quantitative finance, uh, even if your master thesis is not remotely related to quantitative finance, it, it is still uh, valuable to write about it on CV, uh, especially if it is very technical in nature. It could be in physics, engineering, computer science, any other field. But as long as it is a technical field, it is definitely going to add some value. Uh, or weight to your CV. So make sure you write about that in detail and you should also know about that because you may be asked question about, about that in the interview. So very important to, to know that. And it's also important to know that uh, technical skills matter uh, more than your skills in finance, uh, in controls. Uh, you will be asked more questions about modeling, algorithms, uh, computer programming, about data rather than um, on finance or economics, especially if you are fresher. If you're an experienced person, of course, you will be asked questions uh, related to finance and, and economics and, and banking uh, or uh, trading. But if you are a fresh guy, right, you will not be asked too many questions regarding uh, you know these topics. Rather, you will be asked more about modeling and algorithms. So it's important to write more about uh, your technical skills, your skills in programming or in mathematics, in statistics, machine learning, data science, AI, um, econometrics, right? These skills um, do matter more than your, let's say, your knowledge about uh, risk management, knowledge about accounting, knowledge about macroeconomics. Um, I mean, you can talk about that in turn too, but on the CV, make sure to write uh, more about technical skills and less about your finance skills, right? Um, and among the technical skills, um, do take a note that your skills in modeling uh, matter more than your skills in uh, IT tools or even coding for that matters, right? If you know like five or seven types of uh, algorithms, make sure to write about them. If you know five types of different tools, well, you can definitely you can write about them on your CV, but uh, that would matter less compared to say your skills in uh, mathematics or statistics, right? So you, your CV should not look like you are applying for an IT role, right? It it should not uh, see as if as if you have strong IT background. You are looking for a job in IT or tech, and you are less interested in in research type job. Which, which is uh, what quantitative finance is all about, which is very research focused, right? And in research, what matters is um, algorithms, right? Models and, and data and what tools and techniques, what tools, uh, IT tools you use is secondary. Although important, uh, no question about that, but it's, it's less important compared to say, knowing time series modeling um, or knowing some machine learning algorithms uh, at a very theoretical level. Second thing is that uh, quantitative finance, unlike other data science areas, 
is very theoretical in nature. That means you need to know the theory very well. Um, if you know what is random forest, it is not just about building a random forest using some Python library, but also to understand the theory behind it, right? So if you know some of the algorithms well, make sure that you write uh, in such a way on your CV that it looks as if you understand these algorithms at a very uh, deeper level, right? Not at a very high level. So, so that message should be clear on your CV. And uh, cognitive finance is very different from generic data science skills. So you should, do not just write all 100 algorithms uh, you have learned as part of your data science course. That is not going to be of much use. Just write a few things that you are very comfortable about and how you can use them in uh, solving problems in finance and banking. Right. If I've done some projects, for example, you have built a model to forecast stock returns, you have built a model to predict a default rate, uh, or you have, you know, you have implemented algorithms uh, to price uh, options uh, for the future, then write about these projects on your CV and, and what algorithms you use, right? So quantity matters less, uh, quality matters more. So uh, make sure that whatever you know, know at a depth um, and, and, and write about them, right? Um, and because you should be able to explain uh, all these things in an interview, right? If you write too many things, I think you will be in trouble um, in the interview, okay? Academic projects are very helpful, very useful. So make sure to write about them. I have already talked about it. Um, uh, brand of your university degree and brand of the you know places you have worked at matters a lot actually okay uh, if you have worked uh, with a number of uh, uh, good companies right renowned companies uh, big multinational banks or funds um, make sure to write about them and highlight them uh, on your cv very very important if i have uh, a degree uh, from a top university uh, make sure to write about that even if you do not have degrees from top university, but you have done internship at good places, or you have presented a paper in, um, at some good university, uh, make sure to write about that on your CV. Um, education degrees uh, goes without saying, matter a lot, unlike in other profiles, technical profiles, the software engineering, for example, right? Somebody may have a bachelor's degree in history, but uh, he has taken some courses, uh, has gone through, uh, some courses or has attended boot camps, he or she probably can get uh, a good job in a sort of engineering firm, but that's not always the case in quantity finance, actually. Um, education or the quality of the education uh, degree matters a lot. So if you have technical degrees in physics, maths, statistics, engineering, um, that is really, really helpful, actually. Uh, and if you have, please, write about that very clearly on your CV. Never omit that from your CV. Right? Be concise, have a very short CV, uh, prefer a one page or maximum two pages of CV. Preferably a one page CV uh, is something that I would recommend. And uh, be to the point, uh, be concise. And uh, there are a few other things also uh, I would like to uh, talk about uh, based on my own experience, let me tell you. So I, I interviewed a guy a couple of years back, uh, PhD in physics, and on his, on his CV, uh, he had written any, everything about his, uh, you know, about his PhD research, uh, but very little about how his research would help uh, solving problems in finance, right? Because uh, in finance, we, do, we don't care much about um, about the techniques as such, but we do care about how these techniques can be used uh, in solving problems in finance, right? So that message should be clear. So communication matters, therefore, right? And even if that is not very clear on your CV, you should be prepared uh, to articulate that in the interview, right? Um, right? So very important to know, right? One other thing I'll tell you, uh, although, your knowledge of finance matters less, but it's important to uh, do a bit of research about uh, the job profile and know the basics of finance. Like for instance, if you are applying 
for a role in trading risk. Right? What is trading risk? If you do a Google search, or nowadays even you have Chart GPT and other sort of uh, tools, uh, you will get to know a lot of things. Right? Just know the basics. Right? If you do not know the basics, um, even if you are really good in um, in technical areas, there will still be a question mark. Not about your competency, but about your interests. Right? You may be really good, but if you are um, applying for a job just to get a job, but you do not have interest in that area, uh, then nobody will hire you. Right? And how will someone know you have interest in that area unless you have read about it a bit, you have done a bit of a research about about it. So that is quite quite important. So make sure to do a bit of a research. And if you have some experience, good to write about it also. For example, if you have intensive experience, you are a PhD physics or mathematician, but you have done a course, let's say um, a short course, two weeks course on, on finance, right? Uh, put that on your CV, right? It, it will not be the, the biggest highlight on your CV, but it will definitely add some value. Okay, so write about that. Um, another thing is about uh, the programming languages, right? Uh, what matters in, in quantitative finance is that you know how to do a proper data analysis, how to implement uh, algorithms, how to develop al uh, algorithms using uh, programming. Right? You are not going to build software, most likely. Unless you are a data engineer or, or a quant developer, you will not be developing uh, softwares. Right? Uh, you will be doing data analysis, you will be writing code to implement algorithms, to, to build algorithms, right? So your computational skills do matter. Uh, so what do I mean by computational skills? These are skills related to uh, about how to use mathematical, how to use coding to solve mathematical problems. Right? How, how do you, how can you write uh, an optimization routine, uh, right? Without using some you know built-in library but can you write a routine yourself right um, and you know you probably have solved um, optimization problems uh, on a pen and paper but can you do that on a piece of software can you write a, a function or a procedure that will do the job right so that kind of thing uh, is very important and why I'm saying this is relevant for your CB preparation is because sometimes people write a lot about their software development skills on their CV uh, and less about your data analytics skills or computational skills. So make sure to write about your computational skills or to highlight that on your CV um, because that will be more useful. Okay. Um, if you have good soft skills, um, right, you have done work uh, with collaborating uh, with, with people um, in your research or doing your internship, uh, do highlight about that. Write a sentence or two uh, on your CV. What I have experienced is that many technical people who are very, very good in their own chosen area, but they are not so good when it comes to working in, uh, in a team and they're not good team players um, or sometimes perceived to be not very good team players, but actually they are. And one of the issue we faced while hiring people is that, or any interviewer, not just me, but other interviewer, is that uh, you're not sure about if someone is um, yeah, applying for a job because he doesn't have a job, or is he willing to uh, work in a team and, and manage stakeholders and, and be sometime uh, prepared to you know step out of his comfort zone to do non-technical activities right if you have some experience with that make sure to write about it it could be like okay organizing a conference right it's non-technical activity and if you have done that write about it if you have uh, experience of uh, let's say uh, leading a research team 